Mitchell, share with us, what would you say is the best time to start your estate planning? Well, the best time is always some time ago. Uh, <laughs> and then um, also you want to try to do that when you're, when you're healthy. Uh, for one, I've been in a situation where the person whose estate plan was uh, being executed was uh, in very rough shape and was on the way to the hospital for a cancer treatment and uh, he was not in a place where he really wanted to have to think about that and then the attorneys uh, and then the uh, uh, the witnesses of the will and the other documents being signed had to uh, peek into the the vehicle where everything was being signed because he, he was not physically able to get out of the car mm -hmm. so it's always best to try to do that as, as early as possible so you're able to think about that uh, those big decisions when you're not quite facing a, a major health crisis. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, what is it involved in or what is a basic estate plan? Well, include? basic estate plan is usually a, a simple will which disposes of whatever is in your uh, your estate, so it's uh, whatever property you hold that's not disposed of by some sort of pay on death account. Um, so that's uh, a basic. Now, there are other more complicated ways to, to handle that, but a, a simple will is usually part of a, a basic estate plan and then also an advanced directive. An advanced directive allows you to make your healthcare decisions ahead of time. So before you face those uh, life and death decisions or your, your caregivers face that, uh, you've already talked to them, you've already thought through you know, what kind of care you want. And then also there's um, a durable power of attorney which allows someone to act on your behalf if you're incapacitated. So for instance, uh, if a, a business owner needs to be able to delegate their authority to someone else to keep writing uh, checks to, um, you to pay the bills, that would be uh, possibly covered with a durable power of attorney. And really all three of those things can be handled um, at the same time, right? Right, they would typically be done uh, together and would be done uh, at the same time, and then also when uh, when a potential client goes in to talk to an attorney, they want to discuss with them the, the best type of will, uh, whether a simple will or some sort of a will with a trust is appropriate, and then just talk to the client and ask them you know, what their goals are for, for planning and you know, what they what they want to accomplish. All right, and um, I guess as far as like wanting to you know learn more or set up that um, estate plan, that is something that you do in as a part of your practice. So how oh, yes. would people um, get in touch with you or learn more? Oh well, uh, by, by telephone. My number is two zero five four one nine seven three seven seven.